Greenville is known for bring, bring, bringing big stars to the upstate, but you'll never believe this one. Fox Carolina's Haley Spittler got to sit down with Joe D. Messina. Well, up in the mountains, down by the ocean, where it don't matter as long as we're going. Well, actually, the where does matter because if you want to see Jody Messina live, now is your chance. The country superstar is coming to Greenville later this month. And joining us right now is Jody herself. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So for starters, what can we expect from the Heads Carolina Tales California tour? <laughs> Lots of fun. Uh, we've been out doing the show and just the energy from the crowd um, for all the songs, all the music there, just totally like singing all the words. And we've been having so much fun with this and um, the fans have been great. And that energy kind of plays back to our energy, which plays back to the audience. And so we're just having a really good time. And I mean, I would argue that the coin has landed on heads since you are coming to Greenville, <laughs> South Carolina. Tell me it looks a like it bit. has. Yes, yeah, so tell me a little <laughs> bit about the widespread love for this song. Did you ever expect it? Uh, well, when I first heard it, I can tell you what I loved about it. I loved the freeness. You know, I loved everything about it. Like the lyrics, it's like, we're going to flip a coin, Heads Carolina, Tales California, like the freeness of that. And then the music behind it. I mean, the melody, the driving of the chorus, you know. And so for me, everything about the song, just the freeness and the joy behind it. Um, when I heard it, and I think that's a lot of, you know, what a lot of people are feeling and, and they get from that, you know, from the music behind it as well, because um, you see everyone out there singing it, like six-year-olds singing the song every word. So <laughs> I feel like somebody amazing. who now lives in a Carolina, also, I feel like I take a sense of pride in this song. I'm like, she's singing about our state. As you should. It's awesome. Absolutely. You guys live in a blue, you live in a beautiful place. Yes, we do. And the song itself has kind of taken on a second life. Now with Cole Swindle and his song, She Had Me at Heads Carolina. Tell me a little bit about that collaboration. Well, um, I didn't know it was rec recorded. I didn't know it happened until um, after the album was released. And then his record label decided to have it as a single. And that's when they reached out and said, hey, do you want to be involved in this? And so I wasn't part of the creation of that, but they allowed me to be a part of, you know, the single and the video and all that stuff. So that was a lot of fun. Yes, that song is kind of like a party song. Like I just want, I want to dance to it whenever <laughs> I hear that on. <laughs> but we should say you're also making new music. So tell me a little yes. bit about your latest single, Just To Be Loved. Just To Be Loved was inspired by my son, um, who is now 14, but he was then 13. And um, just the pressure of social media, uh, I saw, you know, some of the things his, the girls from his school were posting and I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You know, you're 12, 13 years old. Right. And so um, just a lot of that pressure and just to tell people that, you know, they are loved perfectly um, by God who created them. They don't have to sell out or be something they're not just to be loved. And so that's just the message behind the song. And uh, I just thought it was an important one. Yeah, what an amazing and uplifting message to put out into our world right now. Uh, Jody. Thank we you. have to talk a little bit about the many accolades of your career. You have two platinum and three gold certified albums, a CMA Horizon Award winner, a CMA and Grammy nominations. You're the first female in country music history to celebrate three consecutive multi-week number ones. I, <laughs> I could continue, but is there a favorite memory in your career? Um, I think every day I get to walk out on stage and see people and share the love of the music and the songs, I think those are the those are the memories that stick out the most. Um, it isn't about, oh man, I'm so cool. It's about, oh my gosh, we're here to have fun together. And I always say that the greatest gift is time. You can't exchange it, you can't give it back. You know, once it's spent, it's spent. And when people take the time to spend their evening with us, and that's pretty much how I end every show too. I'm like, you chose to take your time that you will never get back and spend it with us. And we are so grateful for that. So oh. <laughs> I think every time I walk out on stage, it's one of those moments. I'm sure that it always kind of feels a little bit like the first time. You never lose that rush and getting to see the crowd. What are you uh, hoping the Greenville crowd takes away from your show? Oh, man. We're, well, like, we got, we got new songs. We have older songs. We have songs they know um, that other artists have done. Just really, I hope they leave at just joyful and had a good time. I feel like it'll be hard not to leave joyful. It sounds like we're going to have a very great time. But I appreciate you taking the time today to chat, Jody. And if you sure. want to see her live and in person, she'll be performing October 19th at the Foundry in Greenville. Tickets are $35 and available online. Of course, for more information, head on over to foxcarolina.com.